Hey guys, this video is going to be a little eye tutorial. I'm using Urban Decay's Moon Dust Palette. It is also a first impressions video because I haven't actually used it yet and I'm going to be opening it for the first time and playing with it in this video. So I was so excited to get my hands on this palette and start playing with all the different shades. As you can see, it became a very purpley, icy look. So if you like it and you want to see how to get this look, stay tuned because this is going, this is going to be a walkthrough tutorial on how to achieve this eye look. So this is going to be my first impressions on the Urban Decay Moon Dust Eyeshadow Palette. I know I'm a little bit late jumping on the bandwagon for this palette because it's been out for a while now and I have had it for a couple of weeks but I haven't actually had time to play with it so I'm going to try it out for the first time today and it comes in like the most fun packaging. I'm so excited and I will swatch all these for you guys too and then look at these eyeshadows. Aren't those insane? They are just so metallic and so beautiful, so colorful. I honestly don't even know what I'm going to try today. I think I'm going to stick to the this side for the first four and I'll do a tutorial on the other side another time. But Makeup is about having fun and playing around and there really are no rules and if you think there are, break them because it's all about having fun. So this is my first impressions and we're going to get right to it. So I'm going to start by prepping my eyelids with my MAC Pro Long Concealer in shade, I should so know these by now and it's really bad that I don't, NC20. And this is how I like to both prime, prep, and conceal. By trying to take like half a pump, even though this product comes out full force. I'm just going to dab it on both eyelids. And then I'm going to take my Morphe E20 and dab and blend this in. This is going to conceal everything and it's going to prep it so the application for the eyeshadows will go on more smoothly and more beautifully. And we're going to cover up all of that darkness and pinkness that I got going on because I am super tired and I'm actually sick right now. So, oh my goodness, do we need concealer? Now, because I like my shimmers, I'm going to set my eyelid with my Sephora eyeshadow brush. Oh my goodness, my eyeshadow in Glittering Sand number no. 9 instead of using a setting powder. But if you don't want any shimmer, set your lid with like a translucent powder, either that RCMA that I talk about, uh, Laura Mercier makes a great one, or any powder that you use. But setting it, you really need to do because it'll help with the eyeshadow to go on more smoothly and then it's going to crease less throughout the day. So I'm going to take a really big brush. It is actually a face brush. Face Contour number 133 by Sephora and we are going to spray it with some MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus because this is shimmery and then we're just going to dab this over the entire eye area and it's such a nude color that it's not going to really give any color coverage at all and it really gives the littlest bit of glitter but it is enough of a powder where it's going to set our concealer. I'm then going to grab my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Black to tight line underneath my lashes. I can never skip this step. To me, it is so important to help lengthening the eyelashes and help give the eye definition. It does feel really funny when you first start doing it, but now it's just part of my everyday routine. Whether or not it's daytime or nighttime, I can't go without this step. All right, I decided to go in with the shade Element. It's like this coppery orange, but it's almost got like these pink undertones. It's super metallic. I mean, depending on how I move it, on some angles it's hot pink, other angles it looks copper, other angles it looks orange, so I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I am really excited. I think to add to the pigmentation, I'm going to spray my brush with that MAC Fix Plus because this just helps give a little extra like oomph to the foil effect and I mean these eyeshadows may not need it but at, as it is my first time using it I am not sure what to expect so we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna start by my doing my crease. Oh, these are beautiful so far. 
Yeah, these are really, this one anyway, is so intense. It is so pigmented. It is so metallic. Let me spray it with a little bit more Fix Plus. I think these eyeshadows are going to be absolutely amazing. All right, now you can see that I've left a little space because later on I'm going to put that Spectre color in that really soft pink there. But next I'm actually going to take Lithium and I'm going to lightly dust that over my whole lid. And I'm not going to spray any matte fix because I want to see how this goes on just on its own. So I have dried off my brush and I forgot to mention I was just using a fluffy eyeshadow brush, my Morphe M433. So now I'm going to try Lithium and I'm just going to put this over my whole whoa, eyelid. These are intense. These are awesome. A little bit definitely goes a long way with these eyeshadows. I was so on the fence about buying this palette because they are so colorful, not at all because of the metallic because, you know, I love metallics, but there are so many colors in here that I don't typically work with, but I thought, you know, why not? This is so much fun. Let's give it a shot. And so far, I just love these. I cannot believe, I mean, Urban Decay is one of my favorite brands, so I probably would have actually been shocked if they disappointed me. But I just love the way these are going on. And there is next to no fallout. There's a little bit of glitter fallout, but considering how intense these are, I cannot believe my face is not loaded in sparkle right now. Now I'm going to grab that Spectre shade in that really baby pink color. And I'm going to put it in my crease and just blend everything out to soften up this look a little bit. I was going to save that just for the middle, but I decided that I want to kind of soften up the orangey a little bit with the pink. And then I will put it in the middle as well. So we're going to just put that on. That's a little pop of a highlight to the middle. Now I'm actually going to take the granite, and it's like a gunmetal color. And I'm going to apply that just to the inner part of my lid to bring in that gunmetal tone. I'm not going to apply it anywhere else, but in the corners later on after I'm done doing my face, I'm still going to highlight with a white powder, but for now we're going to bring in some gunmetal tones into the corner too. So I actually just realized I'm going to put the Urban Decay Heavy Metal uh, glitter liner on and it is a purpley shade. It's AC Day AC and DC and I'm gonna tie in some more glitter and purple color and I'm gonna turn this look into a more icy look and I'm going to put a pearl highlight on once I'm done doing my face and I'm actually gonna do a lilac lip that's a little bit more icy too because I'm seeing where these eyeshadows are going and I'm going to make it more of an icy tone which is more out of my element because I usually do all of the warm tones and like the bronze and browns and golds. I love that. But today we are going to make this icy. So I went and finished up the majority of my makeup off camera because this is just a first impressions eye tutorial on this moon dust. Let me make sure I think it's moon dust palette, Moon Dust palette by Urban Decay. I actually made a couple of changes. I did my normal routine when it comes to foundation, concealing, and all of those techniques that I've showed you in previous videos, right with my contour technique to get a sharper line. I did switch out the blush. I used NARS Gulu, I'll link it below, to get a little bit more of a raspberry tone. So this one I got as a sample, but I really love it with this look. I decided to change everything and make it more raspberry and icy, so I switched out my normal blush. And I also went for an icy, like, lilac lip, and I used the Sephora number 26. This actually kind of smells like grapes a little bit, which I absolutely, like, hate grapes. But it's a really nice color, and I think it's tying in the look really nicely. And 
instead of nor using my normal highlight, which is like a champagne or a rose gold, I went with an ice. It's more of a frost white pearl highlight. And I used the Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlight in Pearl. And it is white, as you can see. So I put that on my cheekbones, and then I'm about to show you how to highlight your outer or interior of your brow bone and the inner corners of your eyes with this one to tie in the highlight look. And then we're going to finish up doing the under eye, and then the look will be complete. So now I'm just going to take my Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner, and I'm going to do my waterline in the black before I start tying in any of the eyeshadows beneath it. And now it's going to be time to play again. So since I started my look off with that element color, which I can't even describe because it's pink and it's orange and it's copper and it's everything, I'm going to dip my brush into that and I'm going to go underneath my lashes. That looks like there's a lot of powder, but I don't think there really is. And I'm just going to work underneath the lashes to try to bring that color tone down. There we go. And then I'm going to mix the lithium, and I'm going to just dab a little bit of lithium under there. I mean, why not? I was debating on using some of the other eyeshadows that I put on my lid, but instead I'm actually going to take the Urban Decay Liquid Sparkle Eyeliner in ACDC, and I'm going to line just a little bit under here with the glitter, and you want to do that step before you do your mascara and I'm going to tie in the sparkle that way, but I just realized I didn't actually highlight the corner of my eye, so I'm going to highlight the corner of my eye with the powders first because you always want to do powders and then you want to do liquid. So I'm going to take the Becca highlighter and just dab my little brush and put the corners just like that. So we're just going to do the corners. And this is almost reflecting all of the purple tones that we have going on, even though this is white. And then we're going to highlight just under the arch of the eyebrow as well. You don't want to go all the way under, but you want to go where the high point is and then bring that outward. So now I'm going to apply that liquid eyeliner to bring in more sparkle. So I finished up my eyes a little bit with the mascara and I sprayed my face with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Spray and this is the final look. So I hope you guys really liked it. I had so much fun playing with these eyeshadows and I can't wait to start playing with those blues and greens because they look absolutely beautiful. So I hope you guys like this as much as I do. It is a completely different look for me compared to what I usually go for, but I really like the way it turned out and it's definitely a nighttime look and I'm about to go get my nails done, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But until next time, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys. Good night, good morning, wherever you are, and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.